Welcome back to Google Guru. This video is brought to you by NeoNova. Hi everyone, I'm Bob Butchko from NeoNova Network Services. Today we're going to be talking about how you can share folders within Google Drive. You may have used Google Drive to share individual files, but you may not have known that you can also share at the folder level. I want to explain exactly how this is going to work and also show you some tricks to override shared folder settings. Creating a new folder is as simple as clicking create and then folder. Now we have our new folder and I decided to call it team materials. So let's pretend that we have a team of people. We're going to have some materials that we want to share with everyone such as the team meeting minutes and also the summary of team goals. And then we have some things that we only want to share with team leaders. There's an easy way to do this. So to share the entire folder either right click on the folder or if you go to the containing folder you can check it and then go to the more button and then go to share. And then it's very easy to share things out with other people. So we're gonna put in a few examples of uh, people that we may want to share this out with and we'll make it so that everybody can edit. Now if you want you can also add in a message whenever you're sharing this folder with folks and then we'll share and save because these people are not part of my Google Apps organization I may get a warning message and then the folder will be shared so what you're gonna see is that the share permissions number one will take a minute or so to propagate out so you'll notice that this does not yet have the little share icon you can see the little person inside the folder that will appear very shortly and you will also see the word shared appear next to each of the files contained within that folder. But what we're going to see is if we go to the share permissions for the files within there, they have inherited the share permissions of the containing folder. So the folder that they're in, I can assign share permissions there, and those permissions will be added to every file and folder within that folder. Now, if we want, we can override those permissions. So these three files have inherited the permissions from my folder, but you can see here this is for team leaders only so we can right click that go to share and then we can remove people or change their edit access so in this particular instance Fred is the team leader so we can just remove Steve and Mary so they can't even see this file now when they open this folder in their shared with me within Google Drive they are only going to see the two document files not this spreadsheet that I have just removed from their share permissions all right, folks, hopefully this was helpful. It's extremely easy to share folders, and I did want you to be aware that you can also override those shared folder permissions for individual files and folders within that top-level folder. Have a great day. Enjoy your Google Apps, and thanks for joining me.